Good afternoon, everybody. It's time for Steve and Paul from Win Extra to bring you another episode, number 23, of the Daily Brief, where we have our say about some, some, uh, what? What did I do wrong now? Huh? 24. 24. Picky, picky, picky. It's 24, folks. He said so, okay? He said so. Anyway. At least we're on the air today. Yes. We have audio. Because <clears throat> you figured out where to stick the batteries in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, technology is wonderful, but sometimes the KISS principle is what comes and smacks you outside the head. I didn't realize that this nice fancy dance microphone I was using actually has a battery in it. That's why You'd be we amazed having... how many electronic devices require batteries. Well, I thought it was getting power from, you know, from, I don't know, what the hell. Anyway. User error. Yes, user error, idiot error. Oh, anyway. Yes. In terms of technology, let's hope there's not a user error when it comes to uh, October 11th and yes. the Microsoft with Windows Phone 7. Because we want that webcast to be yep. streaming live so that we can get all the news and report it here to you folks. I'd love uh, to do one of these things live. Dude, you, you have enough problems keeping your static <laughs> working. The mind the portable one. Don't go there yet. <laughs> anyway, okay. for those of you who want to see professionals at work, you can watch Microsoft's and AT&T's Windows Speaking of professionals... You don't do it like Marvel Comics does. <laughs> that was the worst ever. Marvel Comics um, were doing a live stream from some event. I don't know what event it was, but it was on in New York today. And, you know, for all the money and in the world these guys have, uh, it was a worse setup than me and Steve have. Oh, it was. It, 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 we're, we're doing this on a shoestring. So. And it makes us look like Leo Laporte and Twit Network, you know? Like, holy crap, that's how bad it was, folks. But anyway, no, you yeah. Don't, you don't look like Leo Laporte because you, are, at the moment, are still not kissing and making out with a puppet of yourself or um, <laughs> telling Paul Tarot how much you love to stick your hand up your bum. Yes. Which happened yeah. on episode 177 of Twit, in case you think I'm messing. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Back um, to it. AT and T and Windows and Microsoft are streaming the event yes. live. You'll be able to catch it Monday, nine thirty a.m. EDT or six thirty PDT, and um, it's a long bloody URL, so we're not going to call it out here. It will yeah. be in the show notes. But yeah, you can go and you can watch um, Baldy Bammer do his monkey dance and Ralph De La Vega. Um, from AT and T on stage as they talk about Windows Phone Seven and new range of phones, and maybe we've heard an interesting little rumor also out of WM Power user today. But maybe there could be something interesting on the line for Windows Phone Seven users with AT and T. Yeah, he's got a, kind of an. You should uh, drop by there and have a read because he's got some interesting viewpoints as to why um, Microsoft might be going with AT and T. But one of the reasons is, and we'll cover this a little later in one of the other stories, is that this could enable them to bring U-verse, AT&T's U-verse, to the Xbox 360. Again, bringing in that whole complete platform, the Windows Phone, uh, Xbox Live, you name it. And it's all... We'll, we'll talk about this a little later yeah. on, but U-verse is coming to the 360. Yeah. That, that's pretty much that. Yeah. But basically, you know... AT&T and Microsoft have a history. Uh, they're doing this launch. Um, AT&T, you know, all the signs are right now, especially considering recent an announcements of uh, iPhone coming to Verizon, definitely, yeah. definitely, uh, beginning of next year. AT&T are about to lose that exclusivity. They need something else. Yeah. And basically, what it all boils down to in this post is... We may be seeing a package for Windows Phone 7 users on AT&T that will beat or at least match the iPad's $30 unlimited yeah. data plan, which, of course, will be great news for everybody. Oh, yeah. However, what's not great news for everybody is when companies start suing the butts off each other. And 
in patent infringements. And lately in the mobile field, we're seeing everybody and their grandmother <laughs> is suing each other. Microsoft have taken a, a, a rather strange step in the fact that they're one of the few people not being sued right now. They're doing the suing, but they've decided to la to license nearly yeah. 94 74. Yeah, sorry, 74. 74, yeah. From, um, how do you say this? Acacia? Acacia? Uh, whatever. It's, it sounds dirty to me. A-C-A-C-I-A. -A -A. You go for Basically, that. these guys have the portfolio of patents that were Palmsoft, which was, um, you know, before WebOS. Yeah. And Microsoft, instead of, you know, said, we're going to be litigating with these guys. No, they've instead licensed the patents, yeah. leaving them the only one out of a list of companies like IBM, Philips, US Cellular, Seagate, etc., that aren't being sued for this which, stuff. Which, so, you know, which when you consider Microsoft's past of just saying, you know, screw it, we'll go ahead anyway, and if we end up in court, we end up in court, um, they're going exactly the opposite with this. They're saying, look, we're, we're going to make sure that unlike Android, we're going to indemnify our OEMs against any possible chance of a lawsuit. Exactly. Well, what they want to do is they don't want to be dealing with lawsuits exactly. at the opening of Windows 7. They exactly. don't want to have that problem. The only lawsuits they want are the ones where they're suing competitors yeah. and, rather than them. And really, you know, when you think about it, it's got to be a lot cheaper to pay for the licenses than it is for the for the bad press plus the lawyers' costs. You know, all these and things. Plus the developer fear too. Yeah. It's got to do with developers. If yeah. developers don't trust the platform because of possible yeah. litigation, they won't come to it. Microsoft yeah. has just removed that problem in uh, one file. Yeah, and the uh, same goes for the OEMs because, like, what, what's uh, HTC now is being sued by, I don't know, how many people now because of, of Android or whatever? It's been grass the other day on the Internet. Everybody is basically yeah. sued. Everybody yeah. except Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, it's doing Motorola. Um, um, Xbox ne News. Yes. I will let you take this because you're the Xbox man. I'm not. I'm an Xbox man, but this is this is brilliant. Um, basically, AT&T's U-verse is coming to Xbox 360. Now, this is all part of Microsoft's Media Room IPTV platform, which they originally launched in 2007, but really only now coming to, coming to customers. And basically, what it is is it's your um, it's your TV guide. It's your digital TV guide through your cable. And your Xbox can, 360 can understand it, can you know, can read it, can tell you what shows you're coming on. You can watch your shows through, etc. Basically, what it does is, with the addition of you know, Zoom and Netflix and everything, it makes your Xbox now your de facto um, Windows Media Server in the home. Yeah, and that really is the genius of yeah. it. I mean, yeah. they've got all these deals with ESPN, ESPN three. The other channels that, that are coming online as well. Now, we will see this in a software update coming out October 17th. But you have to be um, a, a Uverse subscriber, and it will not be turned on until November 7th. Yeah. But if you're with AT&T, you do have Uverse. This is going to make your Xbox ultimately way more functional and your your digital center inside, inside your living room. Yeah. Um on the enterprise note, um, so to speak, you know, Balmer is not really one for for getting down and dirty when it comes to his his talks in front of investors or enterprise people, CEOs, and the such. But apparently, he's really at a some at a conference in, in Madrid. He lashed out uh, quite strongly about the rampant software piracy in China, and he's being specific. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. But you know what? Again, sensationalist news headline, all right? I read the story that they linked to that says he lashed out. Mm -hmm. If that was lashing out, then, you know, that, that's really whipping somebody to death with lace, with scented <laughs> lace. Um, but basically what has happened, everybody's writing this up as a Microsoft story, but Microsoft, uh, Bammer, um, along with uh, the CEOs of 11 other tech companies, uh, had a meeting in Washington. I believe they met with the Obama administration, basically to try to put pressure on China, mm -hmm. because the biggest yeah. form of piracy over there happens at the business level, yeah. and they reckon that seventy-nine percent of all of all the piracy that goes on uh, in terms of the software environment, so seventy-nine percent of China's computers 
ran on pirated software last year. And they believe that that is a loss of $7.58 billion to pirated software yeah. in China alone. And there's not much they can do with it. Um, because of the law there, so they want obviously the U.S. government to put pressure on it. Yeah. And you know what? He's only right. People are yeah. ripping off his software. You know. Yeah. There we um, go. The last Stupid topic. Rumor, big time. Yes, our last topic of the day, um, as I titled it last night, acquisition rumors. But apparently, everybody's getting a, a real witty over this one. The fact that Microsoft was in a meeting with Adobe, and now everybody thinks that Microsoft's making a deal to buy Adobe. Yeah, no. it, it, it's Bobby Day again. <laughs> we're, we're talking about Bammer again. Basically, Bammer went to Adobe. He went with an entourage of people, and they had a meeting. Well, you know what? FYI, folks, this happens all the time because they have products that coexist and compete, and they also, you know, want to strategize about things like, you know, the fact that Apple is kicking ass in the mobile market, and what are they going to do? Um, a lot of the talk is revolving around acquisition. Kara Swisher from uh, All Things D talked to some sources at Microsoft and Adobe and found out, no, that's not happening. No, that's not going. Yeah. What I would bet my money on is this. Look for a strategic partnership yeah, exactly. be announced in the next few months. Yeah. But an acquisition is just a no-no deal. Microsoft has a direct competitor in Silverlight. There are reasons why they would like to own Adobe, but it wouldn't be good ground for them. And we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, on so the reasons to follow yeah. us tomorrow. Yeah. Follow us on Win Extra on Windows weekend podcast, and we'll get into that in depth as yeah. to why that wouldn't be good. But on that note... Uh, this has been Friday, uh, October 8th, episode yes. 24. 24. Yes. This is Paul and Steve wishing you to have a good weekend. And remember, catch us tomorrow for Win Extra on Windows. And uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Have a good one, folks.